in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Hey, our Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. The only company I trust for wealth insurance, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. So the sociopathic fascistic administration says that they believe in the Second Amendment, but, and the big but is the, the crowd of the theater and the fire and blah, blah, blah. Now, remember who he's quoting. He's quoting the low-grade night school lawyer, Loretta Lynch, on the uh, Second Amendment, when this very same low-grade night school lawyer, night school lawyer, Loretta Lynch, said things about the First Amendment that were identical several months ago, and I'm the only one in radio who remembers anything, I think. Listen to what Loretta Lynch, our attorney general, who was standing besides the sociopath today, had to say about the First Amendment not two months ago. Now, obviously, this is a country that is based on free speech. But when it edges towards violence, when we see uh, the potential for someone to lift, lifting that mantle of anti-Muslim rhetoric, or, as we saw after 9-11, violence directed at individuals who may not even be Muslims but may be perceived to be Muslims. Um, and, and they will suffer just as well, just as much. Uh, when we see that, we will take action. So there she is, the night school lawyer, appointed by Al Sharpton, says she believes in the First Amendment and free speech, but when it edges towards violence, we will ta take action. Well, same thing you heard today from the night school constitutional lawyer in the White House. Another great genius. He knows something about the Constitution. He knows enough about it to go around it. I know other leftists who studied constitutional law, and they did so only to get around it. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. So he says today, oh, I believe in the Second Amendment, but we need restrictions on it. Well, we got a lot to say today, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, the 20,000 Jews saved by guns is the greatest evidence I can give you to offer your liberal, psychotic, weakling friends. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. All right, so we learned today that the sociopath in the White House has hundreds of millions of dollars that he just found uh, for background checks for legal gun owners, but the sociopathic snake in the White House did not have any such funding for background checks on Muslims from Syria of military age, mainly males in their 20s. He had no money to do uh, any background checks on the millions of illegal aliens pouring over the border, nor their health status. The millions that he pours into America. He didn't have the funds to stop them or do vetting on them. No money to, to vet the Syrian Muslim immigrants that he's flooding into America. But now suddenly he has hundreds of millions of dollars on background checks for legal gun owners. Mm. And you don't see two and two together. And we're going to talk about mental illness and how he's going to do more to help those from suffering from mental illness, just as they did in the Soviet Union. They help people into the mental hospitals. I don't think you know the history of mental illness in the Soviet Union and why people who came out of Russia from the Soviet era distrust psychiatrists. I don't think you understand any of that. And that's because Americans have no sense of history whatsoever. They're not only do they not know their own history, nor could they care less about their own history. They know nothing about anyone else's history, which is why they are so vulnerable to a manipulation. But we'll get to that in a moment. At this time, we have Congressman Culberson on from Texas, who has a very important message for you about what is going on and what he's going to do to stop the sociopath. He called me minutes before the show, John Culberson of Texas, a friend of mine, I consider him my congressman because I have no representation in California in this one-party state of left-wing fanatics. I have to go to Texas for any kind of representation. John Culberson, Congressman, thank you for being with us. What are you going to do to stop the lunatic? Well, Michael, it's great to be with you, and I am using the power that the Founding Fathers so wisely entrusted to Congress, the power of the purse, Michael. Constitution tells us that no money can be drawn from the Treasury except by appropriations, 
and I'm the chairman of the Appropriations Committee in charge of all the funding for federal law enforcement. I just got that job in January, and I discovered, Michael, if you control 100% of somebody's money, you've got 100% of their attention. So last March, when the Obama administration tried to ban ammunition, and you remember the British first went after the the gunpowder and the bullets at Lexington and Concord, that's always the way Mm. tyrants start. I got the Obama administration to back off. I made them drop the ban on ammunition by threatening to cut off their money. And I'm mm. threat- I've done the same thing today. Yesterday, I sent the Attorney General Loretta Lynch a letter and said, as the chairman of the subcommittee in charge of all of your funding, I expect you to enforce existing law. We will not provide any money to the Department of Justice to, quote, develop or implement any unlawful lim- limitations on the unambiguous Second Amendment rights of Americans to keep and bear arms. So I put a warning shot across. Have you heard from the esteemed attorney general, the same woman who said that any First Amendment, any speech that edges towards violence will be criminalized? The very same genius. What did she say to you? No, I have not uh, not heard a peep out of her yet. But let me tell you, they got the message loud and clear. My chief of staff followed up with the uh, uh, with the folks at Department of Justice that handle their their funding. And they understand. They know exactly what I'm talking about because. Michael, this is a power that the founders gave to Congress. It's an ongoing authority that we have year-round. So it's this doesn't require a bill. I don't have to pass a new law, an amendment. I don't need anybody's permission, Michael. But, but, but Congressman, I, you know I trust you, and you know I believe in your work, and I know how pro-American you are a thousand percent, and especially as a Texan. I ask you this question. You know how devious these people are. Isn't she just going to transfer funds from another department to do what she wants? They, Michael, they can't get around me. The hard the thing that this, the, the genius of what the founders did in making the Congress responsible for money that's drawn out of the Treasury is that the uh, each one of these agencies, Michael, just like any big company, they, they, they're so vast, when they have to move money around, they have to come to me as the subcommittee chairman to get my approval. Guess what? <laughs> come on. Are you serious? You're now you're now you're now Papa Warbucks? Yes, that's right. And then Loretta Lynch has to get my permission to move money around. That's why I was calling you today. This is good news. I wanted the listeners, all Americans to know good news for the new year that Congress has the power of the purse and you're talking to one congressman with uh, I am gonna do whatever it takes to protect our Second Amendment rights, as long as I represent Texas, I'm up here guarding, our, guarding the money, and she's not spending a dime of our hard-earned tax dollars to take away our Second Amendment rights, because she's got to get through me, Michael. That's the- but what about the sanctuary cities funding? What about the flooding of America with illegal aliens? What about bringing in a million Syrians? What about that money, Congressman? Can you stop that as well? Michael, you're talking to the right guy. You got me a little bit ahead of the curve. That's a, I'm about to drop that on him in about another 10 days. I've got that lined up. I also uh, work figured out a way to uh, put pressure on him to make sure that these sanctuary cities don't receive a dime of federal money unless they follow mm. federal law. Are there any Congressman, questions? i got to tell you, when your call came at 10 minutes to the hour before the show, I normally don't answer my cell phone before a show, but when I heard your voice and i remember the visit that you had out here in california with me our visit to the museum and the embarrassment of uh, being around the liberals in that museum uh, and and you said we're an indian country which is very funny i remember the gift that you gave me a little tiny gift of a bullet a round bullet from uh, where was that that wonderful little diorama you gave me was that not from the alamo itself or of texas michael yep listen you come from good people texas is a great state Go, Trump, go. Congressman, I want to thank you. Uh, Is there any way my listeners who just heard you, first of all, we're going to post this interview on michaelsavage.com, and I'll put it up on Facebook. But, Congressman, how do people, I'm being very blunt, I don't mince words, is there any way they can help you in your efforts financially or otherwise? Well, Michael, you're very gracious. You know, this is about doing the right thing for the right reasons for America. You're gracious, my. My office in Washington, of course, I'm calling from my office in Washington, so I can't get into the campaign stuff, but I'm easy to find on the web. Uh, Congress, uh, 
we are up for election every two years, and it's important that I we I remember the genius of America as elected officials have no rights, only the duty to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. And that's why I'm proud to do this job and face re-election. This our election in Texas is March 1st, so it's right around the corner. But uh, Michael John Culberson, sure don't don't forget that name. Spell it C U L B E R S O N. It means freedom for America. Congressman, thanks for thinking of me, and you're welcome on this show any time that you care to speak directly to millions of Americans who agree with you. Thank you so much for being with us on The Savage Nation. It is now 42 minutes after the hour on the program. You just heard, I believe, a very important call to the show. I hope you understood what the congressman said. And all I can do is I pray to God that the snakes in the White House don't find a way around Congressman Culberson because it's not about him, it's about the Constitution. And as you well know, the snakes will always go around the law to get their way. That's the way of the left. That's the way of the snake. Uh, 855-400-7282 is the Savage Nation. I now want to go back to some of the sound from today, which is the big lie from the biggest liar in the history of the presidency where he talks about communist China. If you missed the opening, I thought it was a great opening with the music behind it. I guess it went over everyone's head. He cited communist China as an example of good gun laws. He was, you know, it was a subtle thing, though. And then he likens the Second Amendment restrictions that he's trying to impose to banning yelling fire in a crowded theater, which, of course, is a flawed analogy for the reasons I gave you. And then I played you the same attorney general that he quoted uh, when she said a few months ago on free speech that anyone is entitled to the First Amendment because it's on a piece of paper, just like Obama said today with the Second. But if it edges towards violence about Muslims, she'll bring the full force of the federal government against anyone who is anti-Muslim. Uh, she was roundly attacked for that, rightly so, because she was infringing on our First Amendment rights. Well, now they're on the Second Amendment. Next, it will be what? The Third, Fourth, Fifth, Sixth, Seventh, Eighth, and Ninth? Why don't they just eliminate all of the amendments? and do anything that they wish. Well, that's what we're afraid of. And of course, he then covers it up by saying this is not a plot to take away everybody's guns, and people are only twisting. They're only twisting his words. That's what he said today. And then he lied, of course, in the most important clip of the day. This is the one that truly got my attention. In the following soundbite, which is clip one, hold on, Robert, he said we are the only advanced country on Earth that sees this kind of mass violence. Apparently, the blind man in the White House has forgotten Paris. He's forgotten the violence conducted by the Muslims in Paris. Has he also forgotten he's the only world leader who did not go to Paris in solidarity with those slaughtered after the Hebdo massacre by Muslims? Did you remember that embarrassment? Did you remember that? Do you know where his loyalties lie? All I want to know is where is the prayer rug? Where is the prayer rug and what are the handprints on the prayer rug? After this is all over, I'd like to see a, uh, a report on that. How many prayer rugs are there, in the, are, are there in the Oval Office? I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800 B U I C O. We also learned today that the, um, the vampire in the White House, who I call Count Obamula, Obamula, who I said drinks the blood of the Constitution one sip at a time. That's why he he teared up today, because he had a big drink of the Constitution today, and he felt satisfied for, it's been two weeks now since he could take a sip of the Constitution of this size, and it felt good. The tears came to his eyes. He was so sated with the blood of the Constitution today that tears came to his eyes. And we learned today from... Uh, well, what he said, the doctors can report some mentally ill patients to the FBI under new gun control rule. Enables health care providers to report the names of mentally ill patients to an FBI firearms background check system. Mentally ill is what? What's a mentally ill person? Can anyone tell me what uh, the limitations are on this uh, rule are? What do you mean by mentally ill? 
Healthcare providers will now become government moles, your shrinks, your th therapists. You're not to trust any of them now. You cannot go near a psychologist or a psychiatrist or even a doctor and report that you have bipolar disorder. You will lose your gun. Did you know that? I'm giving you a warning. Take it for what it is.